All right, super duper excited today. We got a legend on the line, Jason P. Long, AKA the Transformation Architect. Yes. Top online coaches in the world, powerhouse, game changer. And today we're gonna to talk about how Jason hit his best month ever and also learning about his business and his goals for the upcoming year. So first and foremost, Jason, thanks for being on. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, AJ. I'm really, really super pumped today and, uh, and great to be with this little crowd of guys here with me who have been supporting me along the way. So I'm super, super excited to share with them. Team no fans, baby. Right. So let's talk about a mantra that motivates you. So uh, I, don't, I don't think there's anything in my life that's ever motivated me more than the quote that sits on the wall behind me. Um, it sits in front of me when I turn around and look at the other way of my desk. It sits in my computer so people who I'm talking with can see it. Um, I wish I could put a, I don't own a car, so I can't use it as a license plate or a bumper sticker, but I wish I could just put it everywhere. But Jim Rohn is an amazing, uh, or, or was an amazing uh, personal development guru, and I have read everything he's ever done and watched hundreds of hours of videos from him. And for things to change, you must change is one of his most famous quotes. And uh, it actually happened to come to me in a very dark place in my life when uh, I was 300 pounds, an alcoholic, and, and uh, in and out of the hospital with some uncontrollable health risks. And that, that quote came to me from a friend of mine who said, you just need to change your life or else you're not going to be here any longer. And that quote has lived with me since then. It's been seven years now. And thousands of clients have heard that come out of my mouth and has changed their lives because of it. And so I, I can't do anything any day that doesn't revolve around changing and for people to change they have to change their life in order to do it so that's everything that i do is, a, is about change i love that yeah. i love that and uh jim Rohn has been a huge influence on me and actually when i got into personal development he's the first person that i listened to uh when i had a near-death experience 11 years ago i had a dear friend who gave me a cd with uh jim Rohn dvds and his performances and his audios and for some reason, that guy just connected with me, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, for those of you who don't know, don't know, Jim Rohn was actually Tony Robbins' original mentor. Yep. And Tony Robbins gives all of his success and fame to Jim Rohn. And uh, he's got a powerful style. What I love about him is like, he talks to you like, <laughs> if you're not successful, you're an idiot, you know? And he does it in a very loving way. He also has a very unusual voice. And it's, it's just something that every time I hear Every time I even read that quote or say anything that comes out of Jim's mouth, that actually I can hear it in his in his tone because of the way he speaks. And you get that in your head. It just never leaves you. Uh, and so if you haven't read uh, Leading an Inspired Life or any of his works, I, I highly recommend anybody to go. To, if you've never done personal development, start there. Change your life by just having him talk to you. And you're, you're going to fall in love with his voice and his little quirky self. He's just fantastic. Yeah, he's got great videos on YouTube. And, yeah, Absolutely. Let's talk about your best month ever. So I actually had my best month ever for this year, 2018, and we yes. all pushed together for October takeover. So let's talk about the grand total of what you've accumulated. So uh, it's, it's actually um, <clears throat> blew past my goal. I had, um, had a little setback in the middle of the month with a, a client who jumped the gun and had a, a personal problem come up and I ended up having to refund their money. And I was like, oh no, I'm not going to hit this. And and, it, and, you know, the universe has a great way of making everything work if you're working. And, it, and it, it, I don't know why I stressed over it. I blew past the goal. Uh, I'm sitting over 11000 for the month. My goal was $10,000. Um, I woke up this morning to two additional sales that I didn't know were going to come through. And, and so it just, uh, and, it's, and it's really, and I hate to even talk about like that they're sales because it's just people being attracted to an opportunity to change their life and feel better about themselves and get the tools they finally need. And, um, and when I got clear on my vision and clear on my, my mission, um, people saw it and they came seeking what I had to offer. And so it, it's really just in a conversation and people decide that they're ready to change their lives. And <clears throat> I hate to say it, but that quote, that quote does all the selling I have to do for anybody. They see the quote and they go, oh, I guess I need to do something different with my life. And that's where they come from. I so it was a great, an absolute great month. Yeah, 100 percent. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, those of you who don't know, we had a challenge called the October Takeover where we set an intention of having our best month ever, hitting a specific <clears throat> income goal, and a penalty if you don't do it. So <laughs> people that participated, here's my goal, and here's the penalty. So Jason's goal was $10,000, and 
in 30 days purely online yep. and he had the penalty, which he didn't have to do. Please share your penalty. <laughs> so I'm one of the 0.002% of the population who's allergic to poultry protein, uh, which is crazy being in the health industry when you're trying to tell people they need to eat more chicken and, and, and healthier stuff. Uh, I can't eat chicken. I uh, break out in rashes and ultimately have a, a pretty bad reaction to it. Might even have to go to the hospital. So uh, I decided that I would force myself to eat two chicken breasts if I didn't reach my goal and just have to suffer the physical consequences of it. So it was pretty good motivation anyway. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm glad you didn't have to go through that <laughs> process. <laughs> so let's take everyone back to prior to you starting your online business. How was your life before, before you started online fitness business? So I have a fairly or had a fairly substantial career uh, in the fitness and nutrition industry. I have a, a master's degree in nutrition and uh, been a sports therapist and personal trainer for 20 years. And so I've been in and out of the gym and in and out of the nutrition business for quite a while and had a very stable business. But I really wanted to transition off of or out of the gym and the, the lifestyle of leading in the gym. And I hate working for other people. So I never wanted to be told by the gyms that I had to sell memberships or sell programs in order to work in the gym. I just really wanted to help people. And uh, I felt like it was a great opportunity to, to go online. I started a couple of years ago. I built the first website. I thought, yeah, this is going to be simple. I know what I'm doing. And I got uh, zero leads and zero business and, and thought, well, it was just because I didn't have uh, you know the right pictures or something or whatever. And I changed things and I would do this and it still wouldn't work. And, and uh, nothing ever worked. And then about six months ago, I decided I was really going to get serious with it. Um, contacted a guy, gave me some leadership on how to change my website. I got a little bit of traction, but I just felt like I, I wasn't quite getting there. I wasn't quite understanding uh, the best approach to getting people to um, follow me more and, and engage more online and, and, and ultimately seek out my help. And, uh, and, it, and, and it led me to, to start looking for other opportunities and, and start searching for other people. And came across uh, AJ's uh, profile, came across you and it got connected to you and some other guys and just fell in love with the opportunity to learn more. And uh, I, I love learning. I wanted to grow and I thought this is going to be a great opportunity for me to figure out the missing link of it. So um, that's what sparked me to come come join you and, and, and get involved in this program. And it has been an amazing opportunity and that's just been two months ago. So super, super excited about where things are in just a short period of time. I appreciate that. And I thank you for sharing the kind words. Uh, people that are listening who have just joined the program or they're just starting their online business, what advice do you have for them to start getting traction? <laughs> so uh, even you know, for me, I'm, uh, I'm 46. I've always worked for myself and, and I'm, I'm, I'm hard headed. I don't change easily. I don't listen very well. Um, and I always wanted to do it my way, thinking that I can take what I need and, and it would work and I can make it better by just doing it the way I wanted to. And, and uh, I have to be honest, I started out even with this program um, kind of skeptical that I was going to just uh, take the information and run with it. I just thought, no, I'm going to learn what I need to learn. I'm going to tweak what I need to tweak. And, and uh, for the first couple of weeks, I sat stagnant. In fact, um, I got so bogged down in just trying to do, I don't know, just do shit that didn't matter and, um, and, it, and it really just kind of it took me a while to get going and just really get out of the gate and, and work at it. And so for, for hopefully people are, I'm, hopefully I'm a, a minority in that, that group of people who think they can do it better than anybody else. And you guys are, are listening to doing what you're supposed to do and not second guessing it. But if there's anything I could have go back and do differently, it would just be um, shut the fuck up and listen and just do the work. Stop overthinking it and and, and just do it. Don't, don't overthink it. And, and, and it'll happen faster. I, I feel like I'm, I'm just starting and I've been two months into the program because I've just uh, spent so much energy getting ready to get ready to get started doing the work. And now I'm doing the work and it's, and it's fantastic. So get off your ass and go do the work. Awesome. Awesome. And for a lot of people uh, hitting that goal of $11,000, in 30 days online is like a dream come true. I remember when I first started, it was like, if I make 10,000 a month, I'll be set for life, you know, because that's a solid six figure income. And pretty much you can live a good life and uh, buy the things you want, have freedom, enjoy things. So that's a big milestone. And I think the cool thing about hitting your best month ever, it shows you that it's possible. You create a new standard 
And then you're like, okay, how can I reverse engineer this and make it happen again? And I think the biggest question people have is in hitting your best month ever, like going into it, just in terms of the lead flow, like where do you get your clients from? Um, so uh, interestingly enough, I, uh, I I still struggled with that up until a couple of weeks ago. I mean, it was it was like, well, what am I doing wrong? Why are people not coming out of the woodworks? And it and it really was for me, um, and I, and I, I'm not sure if this is if this is universally or if it's just me. For for me, it was really getting out of my own way and just being myself on social media and being myself with people and just being confident enough to say you know, I know what I'm doing and you either want it or you don't want it. And, um, instead of trying to please everybody and be everything to all people, um, and really start. And I, and I still don't even think I've, I haven't even narrowed down my, my ideal client, my avatar, because I just, I still am working on what's right. What, what's that right niche for me. And so even still right now, I'm kind of all over the place, but I find that because I'm just giving and giving and giving even like this morning I did a, a brand new training uh, session it's just a free 35 40 minute Facebook live event on there and just giving away information and giving away the energy out there people just are so attracted to it and they just want to be in your tribe and they want to learn from you and then when they're ready they're gonna pop out I mean I got there were two girls on the um the call this morning on the, the live this morning that came out of nowhere just last week and just said, Hey, I see what's going on. It's, it's not like I haven't been posting on social media the last five years of my life or 10 years of my life anyway, but all of a sudden they're like, Hey, I, I'm starting to see all your great stuff you're posting. I'm really interested in doing something and I need help. And, and it's not just, by the way, it's not just fitness and nutrition stuff. I have two, two people that came out of the works and were like, Hey, we see you blowing business up out there, really changing your business. I could use some help learning how to change my business. Can you help me with my business and help me develop some better skills towards my business? And so people are starting to see all kinds of, of stuff and opportunities that I never even thought were out there just because I don't know, the universe was closed off to my, my mindset. Mm, it's powerful. It's powerful. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting because like um, I've been in business for uh, 11 years now and I started in 2007 and actually uh, not too long before that, I started my journal. And I think a journal is a great tool to have because what I do is I record everything. Uh, what I do on a daily basis, my mindset, my goals, what I'm grateful for. And I love writing down my business, like when I have a good month or a bad month. And I always go back into my best month of, uh, of business, how I always broke through a plateau. And I found that I was doing two things consistently. And that was adding massive value and making offers. And I find that if you're adding value through your videos, your lives, your posts, conversations, messaging people, even hosting free events like you do as well, it's like you're adding so much value to the universe and it has no goal but to give you back abundance. And of course, it's the two part formula of making offers, you know, because if you just add value all the time, you don't give people permission to want to work with you. So of course, adding value, making offers will always equal to your best month, you know, and it's creating that momentum, of course. Right. And what have you found has been like your best offer in terms of getting people to work with you? So it was exactly opposite what I thought. Uh, I started off <clears throat> initially spending when I say I spent a couple of weeks just kind of building business, not really working, I spent, uh, I, I decided to switch from a WordPress site over to ClickFunnels. I spent probably three weeks rebuilding my own funnels, which I have to tell you guys, don't do it yourself. Just find somebody to do it for you and pay them whatever they will pay because it's a freaking nightmare. It's not difficult. It's just stupid. It's, it's something you shouldn't do. But anyway, I spent a lot of time doing those things and creating free funnels and kind of low offers and um, I don't really know why I did this other than the fact that that's kind of what I thought I was expected to do from you know, like, that was my expectations was I need to, to create a free or low offer and kind of get them into the system. And even now that I say it, I even feel icky about the idea that I'm getting them into the system and then it kind of massaging them up the ladder. Um, but it didn't work for me. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, something that people responded to. 
And it wasn't until I was actually at the online super coach uh, training weekend um, that I had a conversation with someone else. And she, she told me, she was like, but you don't understand your personality is not low offer free stuff. Your personality is a leader and someone's looking to you for your person. You're they're, they're looking for your, your personality. Mm. And she's like, you're a big ticket, a high ticket uh, offer kind of guy. You can sell anything just because of who you are and stop running away from that. Stop thinking you're not capable of doing that. And what was so interesting to me was when I went back to all the people who I had talked with before who kind of shied away from my free and my 149 program. And I had a 499 program that kind of did all right, but it wasn't until I went back and said, Hey, you know what? I've got this bigger program I'm working on. It's a six month program. Uh, I'd love to talk to you about it and uh, put them right through the, the process had zero problems asking for the money and it was a $3,000 offer. And it's almost stupid now when I say it, like three months ago, I would have panicked over 3000. Now I'm like, that shit needs to be 10,000. And I'm totally confident asking 10,000 for my six month program now, because I, you know, it's just, it's just stupid. People want to pay you for your value that you give them. And, and the free stuff doesn't, the free stuff, I'll give it away all day long, but I'm, I have no, no reason to spend hours and hours creating free programs or cheap programs for people when they'll pay me to give them my real true gift. Absolutely. hundred percent. That's a great point. And a good thing about higher ticket offers, you know, selling a $3,000 package will always boost your income faster than selling a ton of $90 packages, you know, right. and it's just about you having the right mindset of, charging more and knowing what you're worth. And I want to talk about that right now. If someone is undercharging for their services, how can they get in the right mindset to sell a higher ticket offer? Um, so it is, it's, I mean, the answer is in the mindset, it's all the mindset. Um, and, and changing your mindset is really about learning your own value, like learning to talk to yourself differently. It's, it's one of the, the pieces that um, for, for me, I, I, I deal mostly in personal development, not just nutrition and fitness. Um, I, I believe that people come to me for, you know, fitness question or nutrition question. Ultimately, they really need to know personal development in order to get there right. So the mindset is always the key for me. And I truly believe that it starts with uh, your morning routine, how you talk to yourself when you get out of bed, how you feel about your day. And if you put your feet on the floor every morning and go, oh, God, there's another day and I'm going to be exhausted and there's so much shit going on and you know, there's the, the, the world is a shitty place right now. And there's so much negativity coming at us constantly um, that, you know, we're just in, and I, I live five blocks from the capital of the United States. I'm in the middle of you know, shit right now. So, you know, you're constantly inundated with this. So you have to learn to get out of bed and talk to yourself differently and say, you know, I am worthy. I am available for people to, with, with lots of value. I am, uh, you know, a leader in my industry. I am worth uh, what I charge for my services. You know, I'm a great parent. I'm a great child. I'm a great friend. I'm all those things. You have to tell yourself that, 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 that you are those things because your mindset has to get to the place where you find your own personal value first. Then all of a sudden you become attractive to the universe and the people go, Oh my gosh, you know, it, for a great example is, is what we post on social media. We, we think that if we post, you know, a great little positivity quote and we post, you know, this cute little kitten meme and we post, you know, I'm, I, I do this and we're just sweet and nice and kind and positive all the time and everything's wonderful. We think that everybody's going to be attracted to us because we're a wonderful person. When quite honestly, my best posts are the stupid ones. Um, I copied Rachel um, with her, her post with the persimmon. I wanted to, to, to reply to her persimmon post and that I got people like, Oh, tell me about your persimmon and fennel salad. You just mentioned. I was like, well, why don't we talk about our nutrition program and get on, get you started. Like it was just like the stupid shit is what people are so attracted to. And they're attracted to the personality and the real parts of you. And that all comes from mindset. You have to get the mind right that people want the real you. They want to see how ugly you can be. They want to see how bad your day can be and you're having a good day. And they want to see, you know, they want to see, I'll say, we want to see you with your hair down. You know, they want to see that stuff. And that's all mindset and keeping us from, from getting up and going, well, I have to be this person in order for the universe to want to, to come to me. That's bullshit. They don't want to come to you. They think that you're unattainable when, when you put on this persona all the time that you're fantastic and you're wonderful and life is great. Fuck that. Life is, life is shitty and, and let it be shitty and let it 
let you be the reason why people want something besides their shitty life. Mm, so well said. I love that. And 100%, I totally agree with you about the routine and the mindset. And I talk about this very often about how I broke through from a, when I was struggling as a personal trainer trying to build my online business. Um, I had the wrong identity. And I found that in success and life and business, your identity is everything. So I created a morning routine where I would show up as a powerful online coach. So I had a set of different activities. And one of them was really just looking into the mirror and saying like, I'm the world's best online coach. People love watching my videos. I'm the best salesperson. I love transforming lives. And it was like, I was saying this and embedding commands in my subconscious mind. And then I would go about making posts and having conversations and doing sales. And it was like a different energy that was coming through, especially on videos, because I think people could feel your conviction. They could feel that you care about them and that you, you know your shit, you know? Yep. So I would love to hear your morning routine and what you do every day. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm one of the crazy ones. Uh, I get that told all the time that uh, I'm a weird morning person. I, uh, no matter what time I go to bed at night, um, and, and by the way, if you don't follow Hal Elrod, uh, who is the author of Miracle Morning, uh, he's, he's, a, he's the guru at this, but uh, Hal just kind of repackaged the morning routine into what he called the Miracle Morning, and now it's a huge, huge deal and a huge online group. Um, I was doing this before Hal's book, but then Hal's book came out and I really solidified it. But I get up early. I get up uh, no matter what time I go to bed, my body wakes up by five at the latest. Um, sometimes it's as early as 4.30. Uh, even when we were in New York, um, it was late. I was up in the morning doing my reading. But uh, I have a, a, a very, very strict routine. Like it's, it's crazy. Like I have to do things in this routine. I have to wash my face. I have to brush my teeth. I have to put my contacts in. Very first thing in the morning that gets me awake. Uh, drink a glass of water and immediately rehydrate myself. And then I sit down and I have my, my reading time and my writing time. Um, I do a positive affirmations. I have affirmations I write out in all aspects of my life from financial affirmations to personal affirmations, to family affirmations, to business affirmations. I read through those a couple of times. And then I have uh, what I call my vivid vision. And uh, it is a, a clear vision of, of what, uh, when I reach the level that I want to reach and I'm standing on the stages that I know I'm going to stand on, what does my house look like? Who are my friends? Uh, what does my office look like? What does my desk look like? Uh, what foods do I eat? What do I do for fun? Uh, what car do I drive? You know, all those things are vivid to me and I, I, I read through this list of things that are, are very important to me and what I want. Um, and that sets me up for that day, my entire day. And I'm, I'm awake a couple of hours before my husband uh, I go get him up and then we go for a quick little run just to get the body moving before either of my days ever get started. From there then, my day is really structured. I have a, a, a time period that's for social media, a time period for replying to messages. Um, I have a, a time period for all my meals. If any, if any of you ever want to look at my calendar, it's ridiculous. I have reminders for all my meals. Um, I have reminders for when I go to the gym. I have reminders for when I go shopping for my groceries during the week. Like I, I, I am so routine with all of those things. And you know, the reason is um, I look at people who are, are highly successful or you know, high performers. Um, Brendan Burchard is, is a, a fantastic uh, high performing coach. And, and Brendan said something one time on a, a webinar I was watching with his that he was like, you know, if, if you, we don't all have to want to aspire to be Oprah. You know, we, some people just don't want, want that in their life, but can you ever imagine Oprah just laying in bed until 11 o'clock in the morning going, ah, you know what? I don't, I don't need to do that. Like people that are highly successful and high and high performers get up early and get shit done before the world even gets started. And that just always resonated to me that uh, if I want to, to have the life that I want and deserve, then I have to get up and work for it. Exactly. Exactly. And the greatest thing about that is that you're, you're leading by example, you know, you're telling your clients to do all these things, but behind the scenes, you're doing it yourself. You know, you're committed, you're consistent. Absolutely. And you see how, like you set these intentions and you plan things, how powerful it is just in terms of like the quality of your life. And I found I do the same thing as well, where I'm very structured and it's like, okay, you know, right? the work week, I had these specific intentions, uh, specific agenda. And a lot of times I realize like if I 
say it, you know, like writing something in my journal, I say, okay, I want to create $20,000 in the next few days. I write it down and I say, what do I have to do? And then, okay, I got to show up in a certain way. I have to create amazing content, have call to actions. And it's amazing. Like you set the intention and then it comes into your reality. Yeah. It's the, uh, the old, um, like I, I do a whole goal setting activity with my personal development clients and uh, I hate goal setting exercises because everybody does goal settings, um, using like the smart method where they're, um, you know, we've done that forever. And for me, uh, goals, even though they're written down are really just big wishes that you have written on pieces of paper. And most people will say, you know, even for, for us in the fitness and nutrition industry, people will come and say, well, I, my goal is to lose 20 pounds. Well, you know, it's not really that that's not a goal at all. There's no goal involved in that. Mm. Um, it's just a kind of a wish that you want to get there. But my, my point always is, is that who do you have to become to be the person that weighs the ideal weight that you want to be? Who do you have to become to make a million dollars? Who do you have to come? Who do you have to become in order to own your own business and, and, and do what we do? And who do you have to become to, to change your life and have a better lifestyle? And, and people, when you put it in those terms for, for people and they start realizing that, you know, the person, if they, if they want to change their financial outlook or they want to change their lifestyle, that person doesn't sleep until nine o'clock in the morning and roll out of bed five minutes late for work and rush to get to the office and not have their food with them and not have a plan for the day. In order to become the person they want to become, what does that person do? What are the habits of that person that, that have the life that they want? They're not what they think they are. They don't, you have to change for things to change. You have to change and yes. you have to change those activities. So the goals become those activities. What activities do you have to do to lose 20 pounds? You have to get up in the morning an hour early and prepare your food. You have to go for a two minute, a, a, a two mile walk or run. You got to get to bed early. You got to prepare your food. You got to drink a gallon of water a day. Those are the goals. And so, um, I have no idea where the fuck all that came from for, for your question, but all of that matters like to people. And, and when they, they come to you wanting to know, you know, how to set goals and how to have those, that lifestyle, those, those routines are so incredibly important. Absolutely. I totally agree. And I was uh, talking about this just in terms of uh, having standards, you know, and a really big insight you want to understand is you don't get what you want in life. You get what you settle for. Yes. And everything that we have in our life is based on a story that we tell and what we settle for and our standard for it, right? So uh, great quote, Tony Robbins originated it and yep. Jordan Belfort stole it, but it said, the only thing that's holding you back from what you want is a bullshit story that you tell yourself. That's right. right? Because everything in life is really based on a story we tell and it's really a standard that we have, okay? So in business, if you have a standard of making $10,000 a month, it's like you do the proper actions to achieve that, right? Yeah. And let's say if you have a bad month and you make $3,000, you could get hell bent upset about that and just settle for it. But you know what, 3,000, it'll pay my bills. I'll just kind of cruise, I'll be comfortable. Or be like, you know what, this is way below my standards and I'm gonna go 10 times harder the next month. You create a new standard and you go above that. Right. So it's like, right. I have this goal, $10,000 a month. Okay. Now new standard, 20,000 a month, 50,000 a month, hundred thousand dollars a month. And you soon realize that everything that you're doing on a very unconscious level is living up to that standard. Yep. Yeah. And you know, it's also a, a piece of that is your belief system that you can't do 10,000 a month or that you haven't reached it yet. And so, you know, I look back at this past month, I didn't do anything spectacular. Um, I don't feel like I worked overly hard. I, you know, we were in, in New York for, for three days and uh, on a, a major weekend that I didn't work. And, and I, I just really didn't do a whole lot different. And so I'm thinking, well, that's just stupid. Why is it taking me so long to build my online business to 10,000 when I really didn't do anything difficult and I didn't do anything that was out of the ordinary. I just did it better because I knew better. And now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, well, if next month, uh, if I just do a little better, you know, 10,000 is nothing. And, and it's already setting itself up. I already have a, a, I don't know how many calls I've got scheduled for next week. I think I have seven calls already scheduled for next week for new clients. So, you know, it, it, it's just crazy what's happening. 
And that's all from just the belief that it, it's possible. And, and you said that at the, at the seminar, it's, po it's possible. And you just sometimes don't believe it's possible. You think that you're stuck in the, I'm never going to make it, or I'm only worth 2,500 a month um, to people, or I'm only worth, you know, free, free funnel and $149 four week nutrition program or fitness program. That's all I'm worth. And, and that's, that's you, that's you thinking that that's not the universe. That's not your friends. That's not anybody else. It's you thinking you're worth that. And once you get past that, the shit's easy. Exactly. Exactly. And that's one of the, the great things about this type of workshop is the perception, right? Because your whole life changes based on an insight and yep. the moment it's possible for me, why am I not doing that? All of a sudden you realize that there's people out there that are no smarter than you, no talented than you, and they're living the life you want, make the money you want to make, have the business that you desire. And you ask yourself, like, why am I not doing that? Right. And that's right. the great thing about the, the perception, because oftentimes, like, we get caught up in our own life and our own business, looking at our bank account, looking at our content. And we're like, wait, why are we not where we need to be in the peer group of being in a mastermind, being around people and saying, well, this guy, he's like super cool. And he's very friendly and he's very loving and he's making great money and he has a great business. Why not me? Right. Absolutely. The, 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 <laughs> the wonderful thing about getting into a, a group of people like this is uh, whether, you know, our own perceptions or, or what they are and whatever, but you always look around and go, well, damn it. If she can do this, I can do this. Like that's, and it's not a negative thing about the other person. It's just that sometimes we, we put ourselves in such low standards in our own mind that we get around other people who are just like us and who have the same struggles that we have. And we're like, well, hell, she's struggling with the same thing and she's doing twice what I'm doing. If she can do it, I can do it. That's just such bullshit in our head. And, and so it's great to be connected into a community uh, and a family like this where you can see other people who struggle and you can see their journeys and struggle with them. And you know that, that, hey, you're only a couple of weeks ahead of me in this program. So maybe I need to get off my ass and do something or start thinking a little differently if that's gonna happen. Because look, I, I know, I know a, a couple of you guys on here and, and it, it's not rocket science. And I, I was, I'm a perfect example. I overthought the whole process and I never believed that I thought I had to be in the gym or had to be face to face with somebody to make this work. And it's just, it just, it, it just isn't, it just isn't that at all. And I'm not special. I'm no different. I'm no better. I'm no smart. God knows I'm no smarter than anybody else. Um, but it just, you just have to change your mindset about it. And it's totally possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, I want to shift gears back into your offering, right? Yep. So I want to know more about the transformation that you offer and some components of your coaching, you know, because of course um, the big question a lot of people have is like, number one, who's going to pay me $3,000 for a coaching program, you know? So I want you to address that first and foremost, just in terms of like, you know, the world of coaching, the world of fitness, people are kind of like set on a certain price point. So what is the value that you offer so people could understand what the transformation you create for people? So um, I, I'm going to say mine's a little different. Um, I have an online, so I already built um, online systems before. I have an online nutrition course that um, it's really in depth. I have a master's in nutrition. I'm a registered dietitian, so I can provide a lot of of value in that marketplace. Uh, and so I already have that. It's a, a, a video, whole video series that I shot for my, had professionally done that, uh, that I offer. Uh, and that quite honestly for me is, is just kind of a giveaway for most people, but people love it because it's really good basic information that kind of takes them away from all the fad diets and all the crap that's out there and just puts it back into perspective. So that's one piece of it. And then, uh, the, the training part, the fitness part of it, um, I use a, um, a program called P, uh, my PT hub, uh, which is a, a, another competitor to PT Distinction and all the others. Um, I just happen to be already in that, that group. And uh, I have three preset workouts, uh, a female and a male um, weight loss program, and then a, a, a female and male booty blaster ripped program. And so they automatically get logged into that with my tracking tool. And that's all free to them online. If they go to my website, they can download that free anyway. So they get logged into that. And then as soon as they log into it, it sets them up on the program automatically. So they get that. But with the real meat of my program and the reason that I don't have any problem charging that 
the 3000, which by the way, um, January 1st, my prices are going up. It's, it's going to be different anyway. Um, <laughs> right, right. Uh, so that's where um, my coaching comes in. And I wrote a personal development course um, about five or six months ago, and I just released it to a test group um, of some really good clients. And it was very, very, very good for the people that I worked with. I had some major breakthroughs with them. And so I've wrapped that whole piece into my whole, my whole blueprint program that I offer in my, in my, my big offering. And that's a 12 week program. So when I say my prices are going to change currently, it's $3,000 for a six month program. It's going to be $3,000 for a three month program. And it will be the full 12 weeks with a personal development fitness and nutrition will filter in the middle of those because people want those pieces. Um, and then I offer a, a weekly webinar. That's a, a live webinar like this with um, everyone that's in that coaching series. And then all the people who opt to do the 12 month program with me, which will be 18,000. Uh, those people will then also have free reign to call me, text me, Vox for me, however we can work together to really change their life. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to give them, I'm going to pour everything I can into those people. Um, and that's where I'm starting to see the value. I just tested it with a, with a girl yesterday and she's like, take my money. I don't care what it costs. Wow. Um, kind of thing. So, you know, that's really where I'm finding my, my niche, my avenue. Um, and so my offer is going to be the set blueprint that everyone will get. I'm not going to have all these, these little programs, this, this, and this, and this, and this, it's going to be, here's the blueprint three months or 12 months. Let's go and do it and change your life. I love it. I love it. Absolutely. You know, I think initially a lot of times we grow a business, it's like we want to test out different offers, different programs, see which one that sticks. And I found that the simplicity allows you to multiply, right? Simplify to multiply. So in a sense, like you have one offer, one price point, one sales process, right? Yep. And it's like everything that you do marketing wise is leaning back to that one thing. And as you know, I'm very similar in that way where I like to have one, two, three offers at the most and make them higher ticket, less people, more service. But mentally, it's like all you got to do is create content, Facebook ads, have a webinar, have all these things leading to the back to the one thing. And that allows you to make the one thing even better. And as you increase your prices, you're adding more value to it, right? Because yep. sometimes I realize people have like 10, 12 different products and offerings and on the lower ticket, and it gets very like overwhelming to sell each of them. And of course, it's impossible to have 12 different products and make them all successful. And I think sometimes it devalues you because like, in a sense, oh, this one's the best one here. No, this one's the best one here. When you have one thing, that's the ultimate flagship. Yep, yeah, I agree. I've got, I'm gonna leave my uh, four week nutrition coaching program and my uh, 28 day fitness program out there. They're on my website. People can buy them for $149 each if they want. Um, but those, the drip campaigns that go along with them, it pushes them to the webinar and the webinar pushes them to make a phone call and the phone call is to, to put them into the big program. And so I'll leave those out there. I, I don't even do it for, and also a good qu question that I had early on that some of you guys probably have is I still don't do paid Facebook ads yet. I haven't done the first paid ad yet. Um, just because I haven't really exhausted my possibilities of organic. I don't feel like I understand it enough yet to even want to venture into it. And as long as it's growing the way it's growing, I don't see any reason to, to go in a different direction with it. Um, especially when my program is getting so evolved and so solid that I'm confident in the, the value in it, that I think that through results and the webinar getting better and better as I add more information for to it and I add more results and more testimonials from those clients, uh, the, the people are going to be out there that want it and I'll have a, a clear niche eventually that I'll be able to drill down and to do, you know, I'll pay, to pay somebody to do my Facebook ad work uh, later on because I don't, I don't want to care about any of that stuff. I want to spend my time focused on helping people and being on the phone like this with people who pay me, a, a, pay me a lot of money to help transform their lives. I love it. And that's what makes it even more impressive. You know, $11,000 in 30 days, free marketing, no paid ads, yeah. no partnerships. That's what makes it even more powerful because people feel like they have to run ads and do all these complicated funnels, but it's organic, which is even more powerful. And now that you had your best month ever, you're creating a lot of momentum. What's in store 
for Jason Long? Like, <laughs> um, I came back from uh, from New York. Um, spent uh, four hours, three and a half hours on the train, um, writing out uh, a little more of my vivid vision, kind of clarifying some things for myself, and 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 that's really where I got clear on my offering and decided I needed to make some changes. Um, I wrote out how I wanted everything to work. And then uh, I also put into motion that uh, probably because I knew if I put it in the universe that Pat would hold me accountable to it. Um, but I, I'm going to do, uh, I'm, I'm going to, my, my goal is that it's of January when the pricing changes and I'm just 100% into the three month or 12 month coaching program. Uh, I'm also going to push my very first event, which will be a lifestyle blueprint event. Uh, it'll be a VIP day or half day VIP and then a full day training to uh, the general public. It'll be a paid ticket only. Um, I've got already connected with uh, about six or eight doctor's offices and attorney offices here in DC um, that have been wanting me to do programs for them. And I'm just going to roll them into this event, sell tickets to it. Um, I'm fortunate to live in a huge, fantastic condo building that's right next door to a huge hotel with a convention center. I've already talked to them about hold, hosting a small convention or a small room there. Um, and so that'll be uh, mid-March, uh, which will take us from the first of the year, all the people who are going through transformation programs or whatever, the first of the year, roll them right into a Change Your Life seminar in March. Um, that's Ooh. kind of big, big for the horizon. And then I'm hoping to, to take that every quarter for next year and, and duplicate it at least four times next year. That's it. I love it. I love it. And those of you who are listening, the power of live events. You know, if you want to create the biggest change, make the most money and have the best life, you have to start doing live events. And obviously there's different levels of live events. And I can tell you from my own experience in the last year, I did 11 live events in one year and they're masterminds, retreats, seminars, free one day meetups, and I will tell you that it had the biggest impact on my life. One, because I get to be in front of a lot of people. I get to share, transform more lives, but also sell. You know, even if you don't pitch at the live event, people want to buy from you. Right. So it's the power of hosting a seminar. It's a three-part process. Filling the live event, creating a powerful transformation, and then having the upsell for ongoing support. And I know that once you dial this in and you do more consistently, it's going to add so much more to your business, you know, because although we have an online business, the power of it is connecting in person, influencing, transforming lives and selling. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> Hi guys. How are you? Yes. Brittany. Hi. Celebrating his best month ever. Oh, is this the interview? Yes. Oh, cool. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And he's going to host his big seminar in 2019. Awesome. Yep. Well, keep me in the loop. Might have to come back here. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Thank you for the interruption. And <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So Jason, here's the final question I have for you. If you had to basically write one sentence on a billboard, for everyone to see in the middle of Times Square. And this was a way of living, a way of being. What would that be? One sentence. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be sound like a cop out, but it, it has to be the quote behind me. Mm. I mean, it's it's every part of I, I I do this almost daily as well because I'll sit here and I'll work. Um, I'll give this as an example. Um, when I came to New York uh, for the online super coach uh, training event um, in my head, I wanted to develop my skills more of an online fitness and nutrition instructor, or fitness and nutrition coach and continue building that out. And I came home with the intentions of really building on the personal development side and putting together a, a plan to help people transform their lives using fitness and nutrition. Mm. And that's what I've been focused on for the last five years. And it wasn't until this past week when the universe just started opening up again and people, I, I literally had a, a, fr a friend of mine who is a nutrition client of mine who came forward and she said, Hey, look, I want to, um, I want to start a nonprofit for uh, underprivileged women of color 
and do empowerment series, uh, speaking engagements, and really work to help the community. And she's like, I think you might be really good at helping me kind of figure out my niche and figure out my next steps and how to put a business around this and how to coach me to the business. Would this be something that you could possibly do? She's like, I see so much stuff coming from you that I want. Can you help me? And I was like, well, I, I mean, I could, yes, but I don't really know that, that I'm able, like I just had all these doubts and all these things have gone through my head. Like, am I capable? Am I qualified? Am I, I don't know what to do. And the old Jason started going, well, I need to create a funnel and I need to create a business model. And I need to create a program. And I was like, fuck that. This girl saw value in wanting me to help her for things to change. I have to change. If I want to grow on my true calling and people see something in me that they want from me, then I have to be willing to change. And so it, it doesn't matter what part of your life or what you're in or what your direction is or what you're even talking about. It could be, it could be, this business, it could be every one of us sitting here wanting to, to further our, our online coaching business. It could be your relationship with your spouse or your children. It could be your current full-time job that maybe you still have. And you're like, I hate going to that job every day. But the only way you can change that is for you to change. Nothing else is going to change. Nobody, your, your husband's not going to change. As I said this morning, if you put in the universe that I don't want to eat fast food, I guarantee you McDonald's is still going to serve you if you drive through the drive through mm. You have to not go through the drive through to eat it. So you have to change whatever it is. And, and, and so I, I just, I can never get away from that quote. It is, it'll probably be on my tombstone, whatever. I just think that whatever your challenges are, look at yourself. And so how do I need to change? What do I need to change? Who do I need to become? to get where I want to go or change the things in my life that need to be changed. Cause you're the only, you're, you're the only thing that matters in this whole equation. I love it. Love it. For things to change, you must change. And I totally agree. What got you here will get you there. Powerful way to end this workshop, to yeah. end the mantra for life. I want to thank you for all the value added, Jason, how much you've shared with us. Absolutely. And I'm excited to see how your life and business changes. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, not only just for, for allowing me to share today, but thank you for, for really helping me get clear and helping uh, giving me a, 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 a direction and platform to be able to, to break through some of those barriers that I've, I've had. And, and, and this, if this goes to other people on this group, uh, and it's, it's, it's this group um, also has been so instrumental in helping break through those. And so if you are new to the group or you're just joining in the group or you're or fairly new to the group, or maybe this is your first time here, I mean, latch on ask questions, build relationships, create family, whatever it is. This is, uh, this is how you get to where you want to go. And, and, it, and anything is possible. I love that. Any, it's, it's possible. It's possible. Dream team, family, coming together, changing lives, making good money and living in abundance. Cheers. Yes. Yes. <laughs>